Hey, we are Lee and Kristen. Welcome to our channel, Road Trip and Kings. Okay, so we are on our way to Kalaroo, which is um, just outside of Tatra in New South Wales, which is on the south coast of New South Wales. Um, About 30 minutes north of Roomba. That's probably what everyone knows that area for. Yep, so we've got our two kids at the back, we've got our Aussie Bulldog in the middle as you can see and on my lap here we've got our little mini schnauzer as well. So we are chock-a-block, packed up and left home pretty early this morning. We were on the road from about 5am because it is a good seven and a half hours on the map to get to our destination. Um, but with the dogs and stopping for toilets and food and yeah. everything else will probably take us a good eight, nine eight hours and a half to nine hours, nine hours, we think. So we'll see how we go. All right, so this is the caravan park we are staying at, Kalaroo Holiday Park. Um, this is the main front entry over here. Um, and there's your little admin office. There is a little cafe there that's pretty good actually. They're open pretty much every every single day except for the public holidays. The food's pretty good too. Yeah, and there's a little, um, what is it, like a little shop there as well. You can get some stores, bread, milk, etc. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get Lee to fly the drone up and give you a bit of a bird's eye view of the caravan park. So they've got a swimming pool here. It's pretty small, but it's good enough. They've got a jumping pillow as well and a really, really tiny if you want to call it a little park for the kids to play on. I think there's about two pieces of equipment there. Um, but overall, it's a pretty cool, quiet park. So we've had our dinner and we've packed up the car and the kids and the dogs and Lee's got the fishing rods together. Uh, we're down at, at the beach at um, Tatra or Tatra. I'll have to work out how to pronounce it. Um, we are at Ray Wyman Reserve. Um, you're, not, um, you're not allowed to camp here. There is a shower and toilet facilities over here. There's barbecue. You're allowed to have a picnic as well. There's picnic tables. Um, and it's a really nice spot to let your dogs have a bit of a run, which I will show you. Um, and have a fish at the same time. It is beautiful out here. Um, just walking up to it. I'm going to spin around so you guys can actually see it. And there we go. Hi Josie. Hi puppy. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that.
Breakfast of Champions. All right, guys. It's time to prep the turkey, and Chris has been working. And uh, Nellie's even helping. After this, we'll get the weather going on the outside, warming it up to about 180, 200. Stick it in, we're going to put a thermometer in it. My tip of the day is use a thermometer from any sort of meat. It comes out perfect every time. Get yourself a thermometer and use it. Alright, here it comes. The turkey in question. In question. <laughs> so, this is going to be quite simple. We have the Weber fired up, warmed up, ready to go. Chris is going to bang this turkey on top of it. So we're using the trivet. Um, best way to roast with the Weber. You don't burn it. Smack the whack bang on there. I probably would have turned around the other way though. Because I'm going to put the... Because we're going to put the probe into the breast. Alright, so now Kristen can take over this. And we're going to. She's not. She's got long hair. <laughs> See the probe in there? That's all we have to do. We've got the, the monitor, monitor here. The monitor. <laughs> No, monitor, it's a monitor, that's a thermometer, but it's, um, it'll go off when it hits uh, to the temp, and now uh, that's all we have to do. Bang the lid down, and away we go. Every cook knows you got to do this first. Here it is, finished. We're going to pull it out, put it on the table, we're going to eat, and here's the finished result. Looks good. I don't know. I don't know if I want to share. I think I could do this all myself. I'll share. I'll share. It's Christmas. Christmas spirit. Yeah. All right, let's pull it off. So we uh, come to the wharf. It's a bit windy, so I apologize about that. And uh, we're gonna try our luck at doing some fishing. There's uh, probably about five of us here. We're gonna have about five rods in. So odds are against us because I'm a shit fisherman. So anyway, but have a look at this view. This is magnificent. And uh, I'll fly, fly the drone a bit later and um, get a bit more. but. We're gonna be, I'll just turn you around. This is where we're going. Not bad, not bad at all. I might even jump into the water. But let's see how we go. Hopefully we, I'll come back and caught a snapper. Or a snapper, or maybe 10 whiting. 10 whiting would be good. Fighties, I love them all. But we'll see how we go. Cheers. fish you don't have a fish why don't you have a fish don't know <laughs> oh well stand up and show me come on wheel it in i reckon you're gonna make a shark i don't know huh come on and then 
when you pull it in, you got to say ibbidi ibbidi, like uh, Rex Hunt used to do, and give it a kiss. Oh, look, you caught a piece of bait, and it's a squid. Oh, we know we had chicken dinner. So down here, we're at uh, the Tarthra boat ramp. Uh, we came here last year when we got down here, and um, I'm just showing me our friends down here, Rob and Michelle, what it's like. But you can't beat it. Have a look at this. And when you snorkel out here, you, there's stingrays and that. It's, it's one of those one of those places where it's just um, off the beaten track, and the water is beautiful, cold, refreshing. And uh, we'll come down here in the next couple of days and do a day of it, have a fish. Well, we're not really fish because there's going to be a lot of people fishing, um, swimming, but definitely snorkeling, barbecue, and uh, Christian will probably even get in the water too. We'll see what, what happens. See you later. How good is this spot? Time for a swim. G'day all. Boxing day still. We're preparing dinner. So down here, we got two tomahawks. 2.7 kilos for two tomahawks. I'm gonna prep them with just a bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. We're gonna cook them on Weber. We're gonna do high heat, five minutes each side, and we're gonna keep on flipping them after every five minutes. Thermometer is gonna go in it, the probe, and uh, when it's medium rare, we're gonna eat after, obviously after about 15 minutes um, rest time. So we're gonna do that now, all it, all it is. Bit of olive oil, don't worry, I'll wash my hands. I hope so. Wow. Yeah, Christian's gonna give me a hand. You might need to open it up a little bit more. Open it up, open it up. So imagine salt pouring all over this. Pepper. <laughs> Garlic. Garlic. Key ingredient. Give it a bit of the pat. Flip it over and reapply. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for probably about 20 minutes, just while the weather gets up to 10. And then we're gonna slap it on and we're gonna cook from there. All right, guys, Weber's up to 10. We want it high, it's high. It's 250 Celsius at the moment. We're gonna use our trusty probe and we want it at 62 Celsius. Go about Tomahawks. Listen to that sizzle. Ooh, sizzle. She's hot. We're going to close it. And then we're going to stopwatch. We're going to start. For a start, five minutes. Five minutes, and we're going to flip it. Five minutes, we'll flip it again. Five minutes, we'll flip it again. We'll be probing it. We're going to hit 62, that magic number. Pull it off. We're going to rest it for about five, ten minutes. And should be good. Now, there's only four of us, all right? We're not gonna eat all this. It's 2.7 kilos. So we're gonna use the leftovers, cut it up, and we're gonna make soft Tacos. Tacos. We're gonna make tacos with it. So. Today we're just eating it with some salad. Salad, yeah, we're gonna salad tonight. And then tomorrow night we're gonna just tacos and uh, two meals, two steaks. All right, five minutes are up. We're gonna flip. 
first look of the day. Oh, look at that score mark. That is awesome. Close it straight back up. Mm -mm -mm. Have a five more minutes and we'll flip it again. Hi everyone. So tonight for dinner, we are going to have beef tortillas. As you know, last night we cooked up two massive tomahawk, um, tomahawk, what is steaks. it? Steaks from Costco. Um, unfortunately, once we cooked it, it was that delicious that we cut it up and we ate it and we forgot to actually <laughs> film anything for you guys. So what we have is one leftover tomahawk because it was massive for the four of us. So we, we couldn't quite finish it. Um, three kilos. It was about three kilos in total. For is it two. in total? Oh, for the two of them. For yeah. the two of them. So what we've got here is we've got one spare tomahawk, which we're going to use today. Um, we're going to slice them up really fine. We're going to put it, uh, put some taco seasoning on it. We're going to marinate it in it. We are going to put it in a foil tray and it's going to go straight into the Weber. And along with that, we're going to slice up some capsicum and some onions, which will also go in a foil tray into the Weber with some taco seasoning or some salsa on tortillas sprinkled with a lot of love and a lot of cheese lot and of that's love. what we're going to be having tonight for dinner but the good news for me is i'm not cooking tonight lee is so i'm going to tag team with lee <laughs> <laughs> that's a big knife lee pretty cool knife set where'd you get that lovely massive knife set from lee well it's a big story oh there's a story, story. is there all right so i like smoking meat i'm a big smoker all right What's sort of smoker? It's an offset smoker, all right? Mm -hmm. I'll show you that in one of the episodes, but I asked my lovely wife last year, probably about three months before Christmas, I wanted a boning knife. So, my beautiful wife, <laughs> instead of buying me one boning knife, she went and bought me a whole set, which has got three boning knives, and then all the butchy knives. With a, a steel and everything, sharpening stone, and um, so I think I'm sorted for knives for a little while. So Starrett is the brand. I do get it online. I can't remember where. Pretty sure you can get it off Amazon. Beautifully sharp. Yeah. They are pretty, pretty sharp. Yes. Yeah. And I might have and stabbed course, myself the other day, as you can see. Not good. It's That's what happens when his wife isn't around to supervise. I know, I need a supervisor. I need a supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids are walking the dogs they're just going to the dog run and um so i thought it'd be a good time for me to add my extra spice so we cooking off the onion and uh capskin and i think we need a bit of beer in there uh, we're australian we're not mexican <laughs> so and we've only got australian beer cut and, cut and dry not Coronas, so we're going Australian. Okay, so Lee has got me in charge of the mate. So while he's gone to the little boy's room, I'll show you what's going on here. So we do have our capsicum and onions stewing away over there, and we do have our marinated beef in taco seasoning. Um, Lee has suggested I put a bit of uh, water in there. Just to help it not dry out, I guess. Um, haven't gotten any water, unfortunately. Do have his beer though, so I hope he doesn't notice. Did say about half a cup of water, so we're getting about half a cup of beer instead. Surely the beer will burn off, eh? 
We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of a secret. Dirty little secret. When we go camping, we generally free camp. Every now and then we go to caravan parks like this, this Christmas. We do take a TV away with us. And um, there's one show that we do like. And um, let's play, Kristen. <laughs> it, it's very humorous. Get onto it if you haven't already. But uh, travel guides, isn't it? Yep, travel guides. Travel guides. Get onto it. It's, it's, it's a brilliant show. It's funny. It's good for the family. All the family. So that's my hot tip for the day. All right, we're done. We're about to eat. Sun's going down. It's a little bit late today, but we don't care. We're camping. So here we go. Tortilla. We're going to smash some meat on it. Capsicum, onion. Cheese. We love cheese. And then, to top it off, the old salsa. And then, our special guest tonight, tasting <laughs> our food, is our son, Jared. Jared. Come on, Jared. Go taste this. Let us know what it's like. What are you doing to it? Why is he making a wrap? He's eating it the way he wants to eat it. How is it? Mm -hmm. Good? Good Taco Tuesday? Mm. Taco <laughs> Tuesday! <laughs> oh, let's, your All right, turn. let's eat. Hey, Lee. Oh. How's the dinner? Very nice. <laughs> How's the beef? Perfect? Perfect. I think Beautiful. I did a good job cooking it. Did a good job. Do you know what I did? What? When you were in the little boys room and you left me in charge of the meat and you asked me to put water in it. Yeah. I put beer in it. No. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I put beer in the, in the capskin and onion. <laughs> <laughs> did ya? <laughs> Oh well. Guess you can't trust us, eh? <laughs> What's going on here, Chris? You're jumping in. Cold oh, water. <laughs> very cold water. Ready? Bums away. Go digs. All right, go Natalie, down. let's go, Baba. Come, Come on, hey, it's easy. It's like jumping into the bathtub. No, it's not even Come that on, high. Come on. No, no, why don't you jump in? Because I don't have bathers. Yeah, why don't you jump in, Mummy? Because I don't have my bathers. <laughs> <laughs> <Same as well. laughs> but yet, I'm swimming in a pair of rugby shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Two Come on, let's, let's go. One, two, oh, three. No, and I'll buy you whatever you want. I have money, I can buy it for you. <laughs> <laughs> she got me there. Ready? Ready? I think so. I might have got it. Did I get it? I couldn't say shit. Alright, welcome to Cocktail Hour with Kristen. Alright, so today we are going to make a Jack Daniels cocktail. 
So that's the star of the show. Um, it is called Unrequited. Is it Unrequited? Unrequited. <laughs> Unrequited. You did look it up, but... <laughs> Just Unre roll that, just roll that. Something love punch. Anyways, all right, so what we're going to need is about half a cocktail shaker with ice cubes, which I've got here. Uh, we're going to need about 50 ml, which is one big shot, basically, of Jack. 50 ml of cranberry juice. We've got about 15 ml of pineapple juice and the same with orange juice. And then once we shake it all together, we then top it up with a bit of ginger ale. So let's... Top flavor, Drink it's well with well others. That's what I do best, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do make a lot of friends when we go camping. That's right. All right. My trusty Woolworths <laughs> rewards glass, which I didn't have to pay for. Got it for free. For free. All right, we're going to pull that in there. It's meant to be strained in, but this cocktail shaker already has a strainer in it, so I'm just going to pour it in there. Don't like to waste any. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to top it up. Get some ale. Is a love bunch apparently. Love bunch. It's got a bit of head on it. Don't know if it's meant to have so much on it. But we always need that. Anyways, cheers. Ah. Oh, Good. That is. I don't normally like ginger ale, so I was a bit iffy with this one, but that is beautiful. It looks good. Mmm. Cheers, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned next week for part two of our trip to the Sophia Coast. If you like what you see, like, subscribe and hit that notification button. You can also follow us on social media on Instagram. We'll put up a link below. Thank you everyone. Cheers.